So six of the most common weeds that you'll find in your garden. Starting yeah. with number one, which is stinging nettles. Very popular, lots of waste ground, bit of moisture in the ground, and these will grow along the borders. The next one then is thistle, quite popular. Uh, again, waste ground, grows to a reasonable height with its sharp uh, leaves. And as you can see in the screen here, just you can see how many little thistles in there. You wouldn't want to catch those in any way, shape or form. Exactly like this one here, you can see it's in a flower bed and it dominates to quite a size. If anything, you probably need a bit of PPE just to ensure to get that out and then some chemical treatment to get rid of it. Third one that's common in your garden is ivy. Uh, loves climbing, uh, any sort of solid surface. Again, as you can see here, consumes the area and ensures that any sort of building in there, it basically smothers it. Um, it's not afraid of um, getting in every little nook and cranny in order to uh, lock itself on. Very hard to get rid of. Uh, and again, this dense foliage ensures that nothing else around it survives. The fourth one is bracken, very popular. Tends to be associated with a couple of other weeds in there at low level with its ferns. Number five is Japanese knotweed. Again, a very dominant uh, weed within any sort of garden, as you can see here with the stems, the nodes coming off there, and its heart-shaped or shovel-shaped leaves. Again, along the zigzag stem, it dominates, uh, so it blocks all other light out from vegetation and takes all the area. And the final one, number six, is brambles. Brambles, again, very popular. You can see very dense coverage with uh, the leaves, the razor tooth leaves, uh, the fruit, the berries, and the seeds in order to make sure it repopulates for next year, but has those very sharp and nasty uh, spikes as well.